Hey everyone, it's Patrick from Oakland Travel, and welcome to the Ovation of the Seas in August of 2019. A seven night Alaska cruise out of Seattle, Washington, back uh, pre pandemic when everything was uh, normal, quote unquote. Uh, we are in the main dining room, and it is lobster night. It's day number six, so it's our last sea day before we get into uh, Victoria, British Columbia on day number seven, and then of course back into Seattle on uh, day number eight. And so um, we record so much video on these cruises that it takes me a while to kind of get it all out there and get the full vlog series produced and so on. And uh, so I'm putting this together in January of 2023, and it's obviously a few years later. And uh, one of the things that's kind of interesting to note here at the beginning of 2023 is there are some changes coming out to the Royal Caribbean dining menus that are gonna affect the main dining room. And so as I'm looking at this footage and sort of thinking back to how it was back in 2019 on board the Ovation, and more specifically that this was lobster night in the main dining room because it was the second sea day. And so now one of the things that Royal Caribbean is uh, apparently going to change in terms of the main dining room and how they operate certain parts of it is lobster night. And apparently one of the changes they're gonna put into place, uh, if everything I'm reading is correct, is that the first lobster is going to be complimentary. I guess is the way that they, I guess that's the way they sort of refer to it. And any subsequent lobster that you would want is available, of course, but they're gonna charge you for it. So where it used to be that, uh, you know, if it was lobster night on your cruise and you wanted a second lobster, then, you know, they'd be, oh, no problem. They'll bring it right over to you and, you know, that was it. They'll still do that apparently going forward into 2023, but now they're gonna charge you for it. So that's one of the, uh, dining room menu changes but uh, ovation of the seas back in 2019 an Alaska cruise and uh, we had a lot of fun great ship uh, for doing an Alaska cruise in terms of kind of the the setup of the ship and uh, the visibility up on the, the upper decks and so on and of course it has the North Star arm and so on so we had a, a great cruise and yeah a main dining room on the second sea day as we're getting towards the end of the cruise. And again, this was August of 2019. Ovation to the Seas, a seven night Alaska cruise out of Seattle. Yep, hold it. Can we go through there? You can. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, starboard side, a little bit. Which is kind of cool. Just something anything. Anything. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. And boom, we're back up. Tuxedo return. Oh yeah, because I did the tuxedo rental. What's this? Pick this all on board is 5.30. Wow. Thought it was after that. Why is it 5.30 if we're just going across the water to Seattle? Oh, that's the Victoria, British Columbia stuff. Wow, only authorized Rolex boutique. Hmm. Yeah, for all you Ro Rolex shoppers. Hmm. The only authorized Rolex store. I mean... If you're going to own a timepiece, that's the one to own. Unparalleled pricing difference. I want to know why all on board is 5.30 when <laughs> we're, we're time traveling. There's a time change tonight, so don't forget, turn your clocks ahead. One hour. 